Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Uh, continuing our series on testing you know, materials that might be considered for improvised armor, today I want to try asphalt shingles. Uh, you know, these are just your typical roofing shingles, or, or rather some scraps of typical roofing shingles. Uh, and I'm not sure quite what to expect from these, you know, because, uh, you know, a, a roofing shingle basically is a layer of fiberglass mesh and a layer of small gravel uh, all held together with some tar. And so, you know, you've got alternating layers of, you know, soft deformable tar and strong fiberglass fibers and hard gravel. You know, that from a theoretical standpoint, based on what we've seen and based on what I've seen other people do, seems like a recipe for success making armor. On the other hand, you know, when you're re-roofing a house or repairing a roof, I mean, you can push a roofing nail through an asphalt shingle just about with your thumb, uh, at least if you're wearing gloves. Uh, so, you know, it's easy enough to penetrate these with roofing nails. I have a hard time believing intuitively that they would ever stop a bullet. Um, so, I guess, without further ado, let's shoot them and find out. Uh, as usual, I'm going to start with a 9mm. Well, it looks like Intuition won this round. You know, there's our entrance hole. There's our exit hole. 9mm went right through uh, about an inch and a half of shingles there. So, this tells me roofing shingles are not a good material for improvised armor. Now, that said, just to see what happens, we might as well shoot it with a 44 as well. Well, as you can see, 44 Magnum blasted right through those shingles as well. So, in conclusion, if you're trying to build improvised armor, do not use asphalt roofing shingles. Uh, maybe next time we'll find a material that works a little bit better, but until then, thank you for watching The Idaho Show.